There was a time where my school used to heavily promote people uh, creating new things. And that all went well until one day in chemistry class, a kid made mustard gas. And it's safe to say that the school not even stopped saying that, it actually shut down for a couple months. And obviously that gave me the idea of teaching people how to create anything you want in Roblox, right? And I, I don't mean by create. I don't mean, oh, how to make your first game or like, oh, how to insert a script. Like, I don't mean anything like that. I mean, inside of a script, how would you create something, right? So if, if I were to ask you, okay, how do you add a part, right? Even if you had no knowledge of Roblox Studio, you would likely be like, oh, uh, uh, there's a, uh, can I click this? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. So th that's, that adds a part. But how do you do it inside of a script? How do you create anything inside of a script and you might say oh but this is easy i know this like instance like I, I know how to do this right but look stick around this will be a short video and i guarantee you'll learn something okay in every video you think you know everything and then you end up not knowing everything and you, you know something but not everything i think i think that's how it goes yeah okay so yeah inside of a script um the way you make something is you say instance dot new like so and then it needs a class name okay so it needs a class name and what a class name is it's it's an item type okay so class name what you know you see these things class name is this right so if you want to make an animation you have to say animation if you want to add a script you need to say a script that that's what class name is class name is just the the like type of item so if i click on the spawn location or no if i click on the base plate and I look at the properties window, we can see that it says the the actual class name and then it's like custom name that, that the game gives it, right? So so this is a part named base plate. It's a part named base plate. Um, if I, let's say, have the script and I rename it to like, I don't know, this, as you can see, it still says it's a script and then here's my custom name. So this, this first word here is what we need. So in, in, inside strings, you can say, okay, I want to add a part. Uh, I don't believe you can add players. I don't know why that's here, but you cannot add players. If you add, if you try adding a player, it's not going to work. You can add proximity prompt, oppose, pants, path to the point light, part orientation, uh, pitch shift, pitch shift sound effect. I don't, I don't even. Um, attachment, R candles, actor, add GUI, chorus, animation constraint. Yeah, um, align position, align orientation. So the the beauty of being able to add things on the spot, like like you might say, oh, but why would I add something in a script? if I could just add it in, in the workspace, right? But for example, what if, what if you wanted it so that whenever a player joins your game, maybe they have like, like a, like a big hitbox on them. Like, like maybe you have a, like a fighting game, right? And you want them to have like this, like big invisible box in the middle of their character as their hitbox, right? The issue is though, um, what you could do is you, you could make like a custom character for everyone and then put that inside of starter player and name it starter character and then you know then everyone will have the hitbox but what if you want everyone to have their like you know their own unique character but you just want every unique character to have a hitbox well then what you do is then inside a script you can detect when a player joins and when it when like a player joins then you create a brand new item right um, now it is also true that, you know, you could make like a hitbox and then you could clone it and then, you know, do that and, you know, whatever. Um, that, that's also an option, but let, let's say just hypothetically, you just want to create a new item. Okay. If I say this, if I want to create a new part, instance.new part, um, this will create a new instance that is a part. And then I could actually give it a second parameter which is going to be its parent, like the parent, right? So if I just say instance.new part and I just, you know, run the game like that, actually, wait, I forgot. <laughs> let me delete the hitbox real quick. So if I just say instance.new part, it's not like it's, it's, it's nowhere to be found, right? Um, but if I say part and then comma, and then I give it, you know, something like a workspace, it's going to be added inside of a workspace. Right, uh, where is it? I don't know. I think the position is zero. Let me check. Oh, okay, it's inside the spawn location. There we go, okay. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> so basically instance.new, this is what the instance type is, and this is where you want it to be parented to, okay? 
Now you might say, okay, like that's cool and all, but like that's not customizable. I can't, I can't really customize this. Well, what you do is you can just make it into a variable. So local new part is equal to instance new part. So now what this does is it has it makes so it creates this new item, and it makes this variable equal to this item. So now so now you actually have like access to this new item that you just created. So now you can do okay new part dot color new part dot parent new part dot anchored new part dot size uh, new part dot transparency new part dot touch. So you, you can you know have events you can fire um you know like yeah functions events. Because uh, if you just do instance dot new, it'll just add the item by default, right? And if you if you don't give it a parent, it, it's not even going to add it to the game, right? But if you actually want to have the item and have access to it, make it a variable, okay? Because then then you're able to actually uh, you know, not, not not only like change, you know, its properties, but also listen for events like touched and also fire functions like um, clone or destroy, right? Um, so now, if I, if I, you know, if I do this and then I say like new part dot size is equal to vector three dot new 10, 10, 10, this will make it a very big cube. And I believe actually what happened just now is it fell through the ground. So what I actually could do is I could also say, Oh, wait, no, no, no. I actually, oh, right. Okay. New part dot parent is equal to workspace, right? So I forgot to actually parent it, right? Cause I removed the, the line here. There we go. So now that I actually parent it to the workspace, we can see it. So it's just a big cube over here that it's a 10 by 10 by 10 cube. Like, so there we go. Right. That's pretty cool. Now, obviously it's not just parts. So you could have something like an attachment. You could even have a script, right? So you could add a new script. You can add a local script. And obviously, you know, at this point, it's like all, all depends on what you want. Right. Um, but, but. Uh, something that I found fun is just looking around and seeing the different items you can add. Like, what's a localization table, you know? Or a standalone plugin score. Like, what is this? Right? Like, what if I add this into the workspace? What's going to happen? Standalone plugin script. Is that even a thing? Yeah, I can't even add that in here, but I can add it over here. There's also a thing called floor wire, which, like, do I know what this is? Absolutely not. But it has a color, it has a texture, apparently. From, to, like, like, you can, you can play around with these. You can kind of see, like, okay, you know, you have floor wires, or we have, you know, standalone plug-in script, special mesh, shirt graphic, sun rays effect, swim controller, skeleton... Selection point lasso, skateboard control. What is this? Is that a thing? Skateboard? No, it's not, but I, I can add it here. Skateboard platform. Right? What does that look like? Who knows? But it has a color, apparently. So, you know, <laughs> there you go. Um, and yeah, so, you know, that's basically it. Again, be careful with creating stuff. You know, you don't want to end up like the kid who end up, ended up shutting down the school. Uh, check the comments for my amazing beginner courses and you know maybe maybe I'll have my discord in there somewhere you know but I don't know I don't I don't know about that um, and yeah so we are back to basics thank you for watching